four boxing bags and the belt of state over three two minute rounds of action as sponsored by Elmcroft Turf Care. Would you welcome first into the red corner uh, representing UK CBA Division and the Czech Republic Cabral, just a terrifying guy, very tough, ultra aggressive at times, but Josh Mann, a legit power puncher, also a fighter very good in close in the clinch where Cabral's going to look to probably take this, so. Well, as you said, Chris, Josh is very slick and through, but you've already seen Cabral has planted his feet and there's power punches from the moment. You know he just wants to do damage. Big shot from Cabral as Mann comes in and connects to a, a right body. And once again, man going in for that shot, but he's very good in and out. You know, you'll, you watch man fight. He's hyper aware, very, very slick, as you said, moving in and out of space. Okay, See what I mean? Guard, Chris, because Gabriel is throwing for the bleachers there with those big shots. But what he's going to find here is a very competent young man who tucks up tightly and he's got good combination work. And as you said, he closes the gap with great speed and great body shots too, as he rips in there once again to Cabrera's body. Big shot again from Mann, overhand right, right uppercut. Good clinch though. That's a very smart move, Malcolm. He'll do that obviously as Cabral comes in, try to get the separation again and move back to space where Mann can work from. Yes, it's a fascinating contest for me. You can see the power that ripples through Martin Cabral. But Josh is well schooled. He's a tidy boxer. He picks his shots. And look how calm he stays under pressure because this man is throwing bombs. And Cabral doing a real good job of keeping those hands up and that chin down. Even sneaking a nice cheeky right uppercut there underneath man's guard. But man's not phased, still very, very relaxed, very loose in there, Malcolm. That's right, and he needs to be because Gabriel, each shot is there to try and take your head off. And he's accurate as well. He's such a dangerous opponent. And man doing a great job there, moving away from the corner. 
connecting as he uses his footwork to circle away. And once again, beautiful right body shot. Taking their toe, Chris. They started to take their toe on Cabrillo. I love how he enters on that too, especially against a shorter fighter. I mean, it's great to see man change levels so effectively and lands two or three extra big shots there at the end of the round. He put an exclamation mark on that one, Malcolm. Well, that's the thing. Cabrillo got through with some real power shots, but you've got to look at the combinations of man. And in that last 30 seconds, Cabrillo suddenly slowed down with those body shots. Very close, but you've got to go with the blue corner. Yeah, and Josh Mann able to make better adjustments there. Even at a moment's notice when a guy like Cabrillo comes blitzing in, you know, man kept calm, kept loose, and countered beautifully. Fantastic round. So round two, Chris, and we've already had fire fireworks because both these men, you just know, are heavy-handed. So that means this can change at any time with one clean connection to the chin. That's a great point, Malcolm. And I want to pick off on really what happened at the end of round one. You know, man, obviously very confident even at close range, but what he cannot let happen is get drawn into a firefight with a guy like Cabral on the end of the trigger, Malcolm. That's right, Cabral, the right hand especially that he looks for. And there again, the nice upper body movement of man, he's taking his time staying tight and when he comes in the only danger is when he throws that right hand to the body he's got to watch the reply from Cabrillo absolutely you know and man doing a good job generally of moving the hat away even if the hand doesn't come up to guard see that's the problem he keeps those hands down but he moves the hat away so at least he's defending in one manner if he's not covering with the hands and doing so that's right and the thing is he's landing the combinations and you see Cabrillo come back with the big single shot but that's what man has cleverly done reduced him to single shots or tuck up and man doing a pretty good job of chasing down Cabril in wise fashion, but he's got to be careful of those power shots at Cabril. I mean, that guy is always dangerous. Oh, he's got to stay focused the whole time. Oh, there's the body shots that he really had success with in round one. That's been the best shot he's landed, I think, so far this round, and no surprise, really, that it was that right again, Malk. Well, the thing you see as well, if you notice, that after they land, Cabril stays in the crouch, which is me, a man, recovering. Interesting to see Cabril looking here with those hands away. He was looking for the ref to step in there, actually, and break this off. But man doing very nicely and moving away and then returning fire. These are on the gloves, you see. This is the, what man's doing so cleverly, is these power shots that Cabril's putting in are being wasted to a certain extent, and the lateral movement out of trouble. And that lateral movement certainly being the difference so far in these exchanges, you know. And the judges will see those shots land, but they're not as effective because obviously if they land on the glove, that negates the power and, more importantly, the damage. And again, nice turn for Manis. That right to the body followed the left of the head. And Cabrillo responds, but a lot of it is on the gloves. And it's sort of like man is a little bit more wise and sussed out what his most likely weapons will be. So certainly maybe a little bit more close of a round for Cabrillo, but I feel like man was able to defend better and probably land the more effective strikes just that little bit more. That's the thing. From a distance, it could look very, very close indeed, Chris, but I agree with you 100% there. third and final round and this has been a very tough fight and Cabril starts with a nice stiff jab to the face of man and it's funny you know there was like no feeling out process whatsoever from round one and Cabril with that no nonsense just surging forward attitude but man able to stay pretty calm and collected in there and as we've seen so far more like in round two avoiding most of the damage well, because of the lateral movement now if he'd have moved straight back he'd have been in real trouble there but he moves around his opponent and that one landed on the chest, and immediately Man sees the danger signals, 
But Cabrillo is doing the right thing. He's got to stop him or at least get a count. Yeah. Cabrillo really got to go for it here. He needs that count. He needs to score big. Maybe needs to stop it. And a nice right hand. That's probably his best shot so far. But he's only able to land it when he backs man off and is able to control the distance a bit more effectively. Oh, man, though. That was a big one. That connected on Cabrillo. Cabrillo felt that one. Nice shot from man again with that right body. That's what he risked, though. When he goes to the body with that right hand, as we said, he risked the Cabrillo. Really big right hand counter. So he's got to stay focused because I still feel that Cabrillo carries a one punch knockout. And a nice left hook from man off that right to the body again. He really uses that to lead really effectively. It's like some fighters, they can't do that. They need a jab. You know, they need to move in with something that's more of like a straight punch. But man with his footwork, his lateral movement, and that baseball sort of pitcher's throw or the right to well, the body. Toe to toe now, Chris. And both landed big shots. Cabrillo still getting through, but man responding. And Cabrillo knows what's at stake here. This championship belt on the line. He's going after. Probably, like, throwing more strikes, but is he landing? That's the question. Oh, big right to the body again. And then the movement from Mann, which has been his plan all the way through this. And it's been effective for him. And again, from the back of the hall, that looks great from Cabrillo. But Mann is tucked up tight. It's on his gloves. Nice Best stuff. I feel for Cabrillo so far. I was going to say, nice stuff from Cabrillo. And, and sort of, like, using... His momentum here, but Cabrillo exhausted. These two have really went out there and laid it on the line in this fantastic charity championship bout.